We first would like to thank you for allowing us to assess your projects and trusting us to make the best decisions for your company. We have your projects that you are considering, the front end loader and outboard motors. We are collecting data and information for you to make the best decision in order to remain competitive and grow. You are already successful at manufacturing snowmobiles and personal watercraft, and our job is to expand that so you don't suffer from any stagnant or decreasing revenues. We have evaluated whether you should enter the front end loader business or outboard motor business or neither. So what are we really up against? So now let's look at the current industry and then the competition. Again, what are we really up against and how do we compete? It is a huge investment into an already established market. You are already a threat in the snowmobile and watercraft company. It would be difficult for a new entry in the market due to the current competition and price to make the product. Questions we must consider for front end loaders is how will we navigate with a new product? How will this new product affect your current customer base? You can accept the entry into the market to be relatively low due to the price to manufacture the product. You will need to continue to focus on your current product lines while putting an enormous amount of time and energy into building the front end loader's project from the ground up. It will be a huge capital investment startup. Who is your competition? For front end loaders, you have Kabuda, New Holland, and John Deere. For outboard motors, you have Honda, Polaris, and Yamaha, amongst others for both projects. You do already have an advantage with your existing relationships for outboard motor projects. For these types of products, customers love their brand. They are very brand loyal. Customers in the front end loaders are resistant to change. Customers have done business with suppliers and brands for several years and are accustomed and satisfied with their products. On the other hand, you have already been in the motor industry for 40 years. You already have a brand, but you still could vamp up with initiating a new product. Now let's shift our focus to our competition. We will stay focused on John Deere and Yamaha. John Deere has core values that strive for integrity, quality, commitment, and innovation. Yamaha's values are commitment, innovation, teamwork, transparency, knowledge, and integrity. You can see a trend here. We need to focus on your values when branding. Have customers fall in love. Both of these brands have multiple retailer access with one website to showcase their products. In addition, Yamaha has an engine comparison breakdown on their website. Currently, your website has limited retailer access and then four URL hyperlinks to showcase your products. This will need to be reevaluated for competition's sake. Currently, you sell snowmobiles and personal watercraft. This will help your current relationships with outboard motors, but harder on building and gaining relationships for branding purposes for the front end loaders. John Deere has product for loaders for all types, such as backhoe, crawler, front end, wheel, compact track, compact wheel, skid steer, and attachments along with other equipment for farming and construction. Yamaha sells outboard motors, motorcycles, ATV, snowmobiles, power products, 
watercrafts, golf carts, power assist bicycles, and parts and accessories. You have been facing Yamaha for a number of years. This is not new competition for you. Cost comparisons will be dependent on your brand, quality, and benefits. What cost will we start based on your new product, your values, and the quality? Taking the front end loader project, we must talk expenses. We had to configure the cost of land to build the new manufacturing plants, which for front end loader was $1.5 million. We won't bore you with the expenses that you already configured, but we're also talking the cost of building, equipment, cost of goods sold, non-traceable factory costs, administrative, new employees, and commissions and then the salvage value to think about what we can sell for and if we gain any scrap value from building, equipment, land, etc. Is it going to be worth it? The net present value for the front end loader project based on the present value of cash flows, $3,401,753. While the internal rate of return comes out 7% for the front end loader. So given the capital structure, debt, equity, preferred stock, tax rate, our weighted average cost of capital is 6.19%. 6.19% shows you that you must pay investors in return for every dollar extra funding. We will consider this for corporation value and your loan applications and for operational assessments. The WAC is a smaller percentage than the internal rate of return, which is attractive. Here is the startup cost with projected cash flows. Then you have the projected sales, the units sold, the sales, and then the projected. We'll let this sink in. Just evaluate the graphs. Now let's shift to outboard motors project. Again, we must talk expenses. We had to configure the cost of land to build the new manufacturing plants. And we figured $1.2 million. Again, we're not going to bore you with the expenses that you've already configured. But again, keep in mind of the building, equipment, cost of goods sold, the non-traceable factory costs, administrative, new, pool, new employees, and commissions. And then again, think about that salvage value. What can we sell if we gain any scrap value from the building, equipment, and the land. Is it worth it? The net present value for outboard is a negative net present value, while the internal rate of return is also a negative outcome of negative 30%. Here we have the projected financial statements for outboard. You have the startup costs and then the projected cash flows chart. As you can see, it's pretty steady. And then here are the graphs for the projected sales and also the units sold. So again, just let this sink in. Look at the graphs. Now let's focus on our financing options. It is recommended that the company use debt to help finance this project. This would be the best solution for the company since it prevents its common stock from beginning becoming diluted and protects the voting rights of the current shareholders. The cost of issuing new equity or common stock was 8%, while the cost of debt was only 3%. 
This makes the most economical sense of financing new projects, as long as the debt is not raised too high. A high amount of debt makes it more difficult for a company to borrow money should it require it. You stated that you want to keep the current capital structure, so you might be hesitant for taking on more debt, but this is the best solution for raising capital. We would recommend that front loader project to be undertaken because of the net present value and internal rate of return. The outboard doesn't seem to be feasible as the net present value and internal rate of return is negative. Let's give you reassurance of the benefits. Again, you have already configured the cost of the expenses, which we already discussed with land, building, equipment, units, non-traceable factory costs, administration costs, a national sales manager, two regional sales managers, and 10 salespeople for front and loader project. The benefits of the end of project life is that land will be worth $3 million, which is a gain. We don't have all those costs for outboard, but it is also a huge cost for investment. But what are we missing with the costs and the benefits? Training. You must invest a good training program. This will decrease turnover when employees are educated and comfortable and know their job duties and expectations. Marketing, marketing, marketing. You must invest in that. You must make customers want to try your brand and stick with it. You want curious customers to try you out, but you also want loyal customers. You must invest in marketing and create an exceptional brand to compete with John Deere. You also need more retailers to sell your brand. Their part gets the word out as well. Again, we want to thank you for choosing us to assess your projects. We feel with our experience, knowledge, and research that we have made the best decision to choose front-end loader project. Yes, you're starting from the ground up, but this is going to keep you growing. If you have any questions about our findings or recommendations, please feel free to reach out. We know you could have chosen many different consulting groups. So we want to thank you for choosing us.